Hey, good evening, my dark and lovely soul. My name is Lenny Graves. I'm a tarot card reader. I'm an astrologer. I'm a psychic medium. I'm a demonologist. I'm a magician. I do lots of kind of fun stuff. And tonight, what I want to do is I want to take my deck of just unassuming tarot cards here. We've got the sun on the bottom of the deck. This is a very good sign already. Oh, and then I split it, and we've got the Ten of Cups. This is a really, really good sign just already. But what's my message? My message is from the devil. Now, the devil means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So we're going to go in whatever devil version you want, from the dude in Legend to the guy who's in the movie. No, um, or in the TV show, or Lucifer. No, the actual devil, that dark force, that mischievous entity that lives out there in the shadows, and kind of tempts us to a little bit of wickedness and a little bit of fun, wants to tell you something. And he would like to use these hands in this tarot card deck and my pudding things to go ahead and let you know what he would like you to know. Just a whisper about what your life should be or where it is, or I'm not even entirely sure. I know right now that I get a really strong sense that whatever you're going to do is going to bring you to a lot of success and abundance because of the way that the cards, because you've gone through a period, we've got the hermit of introspection and reflection. Like I, I would say you've gone through a period where maybe You've gone through some stuff that's caused you to go in through some stuff. I know deep thoughts. You've gone through things that have made you um, a harder individual, if you will, and um, but a wiser and just just a better person. All you get, you know, adv adversity makes us better people, despite being adversity. It really is. I've never some most people if they've had a lot, a lot of people when your when your life's harder, it just a lot of times you build character from it. And I I would rather not personally if you're like me, but. You've, you've gone through some things that have caused you to go inward a little bit, and um, it's built you up. So let's see what you're supposed to do with that. Now, first card I've got is Strength Inverted. Second card I've got is Five of Wands. And then I have the Ten of Cups again. All right, my dark and lovely soul, what the devil wants you to know is he wants you to know you have the strength to do it. A very similar reading from Lilith. Um, and that makes sense because the devil wants the devil is a friend of the devil. I can't talk tonight. It's the spirits. So I swear there's some spirits in there and I have trouble talking. Um, they both, it's a, it's a message of liberation. Um, strength, it's inverted, right? Because you don't believe you're strong enough to do things you want to do and the things that you can do. Oh no, my dear. You are absolutely strong enough to do it. You are strong enough to fight, fight, fight your way to the top if you need to and get everything that you wish for. Let's pull two clarifying cards really quick. You are the empress. You are the embodiment of the divine feminine. And you can be the buffest dude on the planet watching me, and I'm glad you are right on, bro. But you could also be the empress at the same time. Tarot doesn't work that way. Is the manliest guy in the world has an inner feminine that's pretty feminine because it's the opposite of him, right? Or like the, the most seductive feminine woman has like a Conan, and it's the opposite. It's our demonic self, Anton LaVey would have called it that way. So there you are. There's the Empress underneath all that strength. But, oh, and it just makes sense. See that card you can't see because my lighting sucks? Let me pull it back. Here is the Eight of Cups. You have to decide to make your wishes come true. You can't even make that up. You can't even make that up. Isn't that, isn't that a wonderful story? That's what the devil wants you to know. Same thing as Lilith. Check out the devil. This is my metaphor about him. The devil's chilling in heaven. He's at the right hand of God, right? One day, I don't know, maybe it was about eyebrows or hairstyles or something. There's a war in heaven. And the devil decides, eh, fuck it. I'd rather do my own thing. I don't want to listen to what other people's edicts are for my life or whatever. I have my own vision, my own wishes and whatever, and I'll rebel. I'll do whatever I have to do to get there, right? This is probably not the best, most like, good example. Of it. But anyway, you get what I'm saying, right? The devil was willing to follow his cause enough that he fell. But he gets what he wants. You know what you're, you're like, well, I guess that's not the best because he, well, I don't know. Maybe it's cool to rule in hell. You get a cool throne. Heavy metal albums look pretty awesome, right? Awesome. Um, no, you. It's, it's about the will to go after what you want and believe in yourself. You don't believe that you have the ability to do the things that you want to do. You do. You absolutely do. You just have to rise to the occasion, right? You have to believe in yourself. You have to be like, there's just the lion on the card, as I think of Lambert, the sheepish lion's old, I think it's Disney, probably young, you have no idea, but it's lion who was raised by sheeps. 
and the sheeps all kind of make fun of him because he's like real kind of chicken but then the wolves come and they're gonna kill his mom and then he gets pissed off and he finds out he's lying and, he, and then everybody's like yay for lambert right it's, it's really sweet but that's you right you're you're this like lion that's forgotten your roar take your roar roar it to the universe become the empress fight your way to the top get everything you have ever wished for coming true but you have to make the choice to do it so like comment the choice to affirm it in the comments. I forgot what I was saying. There you go. That's right there. Get the thumbs up for it. Like, comment, subscribe. Take this. Affirm that you're going to do it. You should. And um, there you go. That's your whisper from the devil. The devil wants you to, you know, the devil's kind of maybe a bad guy, but he also wants you to have the best time. And he wants you to know that you don't need anybody else. You have the strength to do what you need to do. So go out and do it. Unvert that take that card, inverted card, and flip it around and unlock just the best life you have coming towards you, all right? Do that, my dark and lovely soul. My name is Lenny Graves, and you can find me here at TikTok at the Lenny Graves, and you can also find me at Dysfunctional Enlightenment at YouTube and Facebook, where I do longer readings and, like, lives and all kinds. You should go. You should go check it out. It's pretty awesome. I hope to see you there. Anyway, my dark and lovely soul, have a great night.